You know, I'm a lazy bastard and turning the lathe handles is hard work. So today I'm going to try and make a uh, handle adapter for my uh, cordless drill. Probably not a uh, very exciting uh, project, but it is uh, better than hanging in front of the deli working on my uh, beer belly. Instead of taking the easy route and uh, make the adapter out of an old socket set, I'm going to use this piece of nylon. I haven't uh, machined nylon before, so this is a good excuse to uh, try it out. Besides, nylon uh, won't uh, damage the uh, ball handles. And uh, I spent quite a bit of time polishing uh, those up, and uh, I would like to keep them uh, nice and shiny for a bit longer. Looking at this uh, machine surface, this stuff is probably very nasty to machine. I'm using a uh, round nose uh, tool bit, and it has a bit of positive rake. It moved. There was a bit of a pointy uh, bit sticking out of the middle. That's not bad. I think the piece in the middle broke off. I'll flip it around so this uh, surface can uh, sit uh, up against the chuck. Now let's do the other side. This time I uh, tightened up the chuck a bit more. That surface finish, well, it's not perfect. I guess I uh, was going too fast. I wonder if a little oil helps. Maybe some uh, WD-40. That's a bit better. It is getting a bit warm. I guess uh, I shouldn't be surprised. Alright. I'll leave that little hole there because I need to do some drilling now. I'm not sure if the uh, pre existing hole is in the center, so I will center drill just to be uh, sure. Perfect. I put a mark on the drill bit, that's how deep I want to go. Easy peasy. Since that went pretty easy, I'm now going to 23 millimeters, which should fit the uh, ball handles. I am going to slow down the lathe a bit. feel that uh, I'm at the bottom of the hole. Now I am going to clean up the uh, side of the workpiece. Uh, the final dimension isn't really important but uh, I don't want to make it uh, too small. I really should switch to a chamfering tool. But... <laughs> Perfect. So now I gotta part it off. I almost uh, forgot to uh, drill a hole to the center. I need that hole to uh, hold the workpiece when I'm uh, milling the slots on the side uh, for the uh, ball handle. Let's see if we can uh, split this thing through the middle. Ooh, look at that! Okay. It's starting to smoke. And stink. 
suit us. Ah, hot. Parting off left a really nasty surface finish. It looks like uh, the nylon started to melt. So we need to uh, clean this up. Hmm. Well, it will do. There are uh, lots of things wrong with this setup, but uh, I guess I'm feeling lucky today. Here we go. <laughs> I guess my lug ran out. Ooh, knurling. Alright, let's try that again. Attempt number three. Ooh, a heavy knurl. Attempt number four. Let's see if I can mess this up uh, any further. It's overheating. Let's uh, cool it down with some uh, brake cleaner. That's pretty hot. It's cutting up against the uh, washer I got in there. Well, I, uh, I removed the uh, bolt in the middle. Let's gamble a little more. Scheiße. It uh, moved. How's that for a screw up? For the uh, second slot, I had to turn the uh, workpiece around because there is not enough travel in the uh, cross light. I'm also using a 10mm uh, uh, end mill now because the uh, ball handle is not symmetrical. Um, and this time I uh, correctly set the depth because I was cutting way too deep here. Oh. Well, you can see the difference between a new sharp end mill. And an old one. Bit of cooling. Look at that. I might have learned a thing or two. I must say, in my dreams, it looked a whole lot nicer. But uh, that's something that's true for a lot of things. At least it fits. Now I gotta make an adapter for the adapter to adapt it to the uh, cordless drill. This piece here is going to be the uh, adapter for the adapter. And uh, before I uh, put it in the lathe, I'm gonna drill some holes while it is still easy to uh, hold it in the uh, drill vise. Look at that! Both me and the drill bit survived. Live to fight another day. Now I'm going to turn this down to 8mm so it will fit inside the nylon piece and uh, help line up things uh, correctly. Oops. I think I should resharpen. Lots of stringy chips. I really messed up the uh, point on this uh, HSS tool bit. It burned straight off. So I'm switching to this carbide uh, tool bit that I uh, bought at a local uh, flea market. 
let's see how that works. The spindle is also uh, acting up again. I'll uh, probably take it apart after this uh, project. Great! More stringy chips! That's good enough for me. Now I'm gonna take off a bit of the uh, OD. I managed to uh, break off the pointy bit when I accidentally moved the uh, tool bit into the workpiece. Man, that uh, carbide is weak. However, I did get a uh, very nice surface finish. Well, I can turn it around and cut from the other side. It's the uh, last insert I have, so um, I should try and find some more. Unfortunately, there is no information whatsoever on uh, what kind of uh, insert this is. So now I gotta turn it around. Hopefully there isn't a big taper on here, so uh, holding it uh, on this side won't be a problem. I switched to the outside jaws so I can work uh, closer to the chuck. I thought those uh, inserts had a built-in chip breaker, but uh, no matter what I do, it's spaghetti always and all the time. Perfect. I'm going to use these uh, wood screws to uh, fix the pieces together because, uh, well, if there's one thing I know about nylon is that uh, you can't really glue it. Um, I use this part to uh, transfer the holes to the nylon part because I think it's a good idea to uh, pre-drill them. Um, I'm not sure if you can uh, screw directly into nylon. And of course it is empty. It's always empty when you need it. Always empty. Well here it is. The finished article. And it looks butt ugly. But it works and that uh, should count for something. It could have been so much nicer. If I was a uh, master machinist, maybe in a few years when I look back at this thing, uh, I will have a laugh. <laughs>